Aggrieved by EOD. Barry Morgan. Fisherman. Disrupted by Innsmouthers catching all the fish. Luther Merritt. Daughter raped and, guilt and killed. Guilt of EOD members unproven. Wallace Rose. Injured in a fight with Innsmouthers. George Cavendish. Name circled in red. Wife joined EOD. Bore a child that wasn't his. Cavendish Harvey. Saw Innsmouthers stealing from him. Delaney Jensen. Sun disappeared in shells. Blamed Innsmouthers. A note that smells of fish. I got it, Billy. We'll make sure no one from the expedition gets back to shore. And if anyone slips through, I just, I'll just... I've got just the guy to handle it. He goes by the name of Lewis Flynn. Very obedient. We'll do everything he's told to. Provide him with detailed instructions. Yours, A. Lewis Flynn. I think we just got the answer about the first quest, if I can find what it was called. Fathers and Sons Designs Reading Open House. Through the Looking Glass was an early quest, but no, that was a side quest. A Delicate Matter. Woman Who Took the Mirror. Quid Pro Quo. Bounty of the Sea. Lost at Sea. No, that's the wrong... Frosty Welcome. There we go. Lewis Flynn. I was fucking right. <laughs> we're, we, got, we got the actual answer from the quest at the beginning of the entire game, which is that Lewis Flynn was actually hired to kill anyone who escaped the, uh, that, that came to shore. So he, I, I actually do get a definitive answer about the very first quest of the entire game, and I was right the whole time. He wasn't deluded by the curse or whatever. He was hired specifically to kill anyone who made it back. And he did. Boom. <laughs> Hi. As, how's the wife? There, he, there she is. How's the lack of finger treating you? Have you... have you come to save us? Oh, thank you, mister. I... I thought they'd kill us. I... I don't know how we can ever repay you. Who, who are you? You look... I'm a private eye. And your father's worried about you, too. Father? Is he okay? Did you see him? He's fine, but this isn't over yet. Do you have somewhere you could hide out for a while? Um, yeah, yeah, sure. We'll stay at Aunt Peg's. What's going on? Your father and I have a matter we need to deal with together. He'll explain everything when he can. Okay, okay. Please, mister. Take care of him. He's a good man. I'll try. I've got to go. He's also now a murderer. The evidence obtained... All? Not, not all. Not yet. Have you... have you come to save us? I'm still missing something around here. A lot of my ability to win gunfights comes down to the fact that I am very resilient to bullets and everybody else dies in one hit. And that really, really tips the scales in my favor, doesn't it? I'm like, headshot, 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 headshot. Huh. You wouldn't think I could win in one on five, and yet, somehow, life, uh, finds a way. What the hell? Everything I've faced since coming to this city is on this map. Yeah, this is the asshole that planned everything, evidently. Everything. That's every character. From the very beginning, he did everything. So he saved us, presumably, because it still suited his plans. Because he set up everything... Down to, like, ridiculous details, even. I saved Byer's family from kidnappers. Now I must return to Glen to discuss the terms of his surrender to the police. Alibi. That's not my alibi? Right. Milton Pierce, the sellout. <clears throat> there we go. All-around jerk or good citizen. 
He doesn't believe he saw me at the crime scene. I've literally seen evidence that already points out that he'll be like, I'll, I'll, say, I'll say whatever you want me to say. Also, he's this game stand-in for Trump. So fuck him. Do -do -do. Yeah. It still thinks I don't have an alibi. I guess I technically don't have an alibi. It's that I have evidence that contradicts their claim that I'm the one who did it. But pointing towards who is the right person isn't the same thing on like a semantic level as having an alibi. It's better than having an alibi, proving that somebody else did it, but uh... It doesn't, because an alibi is defined, I think, based on, like, you actually having evidence that you were somewhere else, or some other evidence that you couldn't have been at the scene of the crime. Which, technically, I don't have much of. Because I have a tendency to lose my mind and pass out and lose self-control and a bunch of other messes, really. Shit, where was Glenn? Alright. The yellow mark. Still have an idea of where he was. Good. Find something you like. Cheaper than the rest. God damn. See, that kind of detail is way cooler than weird flaming multi-car piled up. You're like, oh wow. The flood really is just devouring the cars. Which are no longer useful these days. And also half of them were buried. But the fact that they never got dug up kind of highlights how they're not particularly useful anymore anyway. Because somebody would have made the effort. But yeah, in other parts of town they're still like... ...kept and still being driven nowadays apparently. Even though every single one of them seems to be have been crashed basically. Take me back to the market. Yeah, when I saw this map for a moment, I, I, my eyes lit up and I was like, because <gasps> I'm because I was thinking I just played two Pathologic games over the last year or so, four campaigns of Pathologic. So like I'm used to seeing this kind of map and being like, oh man, we're going to be like picking out paths across this place and it's going to be like interesting time management maybe or like anything really. But instead it's just square mileage for the sake of it mostly. And every quick, every fast travel point I unlock is like a godsend to save me from doing more exploring. Live! See, he wants to live. There we go. I saved him. That's how that works, right? That may have been insensitive. <laughs> but in the moment, it was a funny joke to me. Your family is safe now. Yes, thank you so much. Uh, my sister-in-law just called to say Evelyn and Michael got there safely. I owe you everything. What happens now? Uh, should I turn myself in? Uh, first things first. You need to write a confession. It's your word against the witness. Uh, okay, I I'll take it over to the police station immediately. No, just give it to me. And the murder weapon. You still have it, right? Yes, sir. Here's everything. Good man. I'll go clear things up. I suggest you make the most of your time before the coppers come knocking. I'll get going. Didn't even say where his family went, like... He's at Aunt Peggy's. And stuff like that. It said the murder weapon and showed a knife, by the way. I just want to point that out. It's not... That was not the murder weapon. Just it's explicitly not what it is. I saved Glenn's family. The gun. Is that the alibi? Yep. Buyer's gun is the murder weapon and directly implicates him in the crime. Whoever is found with the gun will be implicated in the murder. It could be planted to frame someone else. Can I- can I frame Trump? Oh my god, I can. Milton Pierce tried to frame me, so I'm returning the favor. If I plant the gun on his bloody clothes and take a picture, Mr. Carpenter should consider it sufficient evidence against him. Oh, we're gonna have some fun. We're gonna have some fun. Because he straight up asked me to, uh, murder his own mother. So, let's clean him out. 
This is fun. There's Milton Pierce. So we just gotta get up there. Hmm. <laughs> And we get to do a few good things at once, because we also get to clear the name of the guy who technically is the real murderer, but was being specifically blackmailed and forced to do this. And we get to take out the guy who is a force for negativity of the entire city, and also was planning on benefiting from this murder. The so fuck justice. I'm ready to skip right past justice. Or it's, I suppose it's a different kind of justice. Here's where we get into like the moral alignment system you see in D&D &D, where they make a point to say lawful versus chaotic and good versus evil. Which of course is a really messy system in general because it's incredibly subjective what people think is good for evil in the first place, so it's really up there. Although law, the law is usually less subjective. Although the fact that there's entire courts determined just to try to determine whether or not something is the law or not means it's still up into interpretation a lot. Uh, but it comes down to the idea that like, what's good or bad and what's, le and what's legal or not are often not exactly aligned with each other. So this would be an example of trying to do a chaotic good on some level. Or at least definitely not a lawful good. We're gonna sneak down to his basement. Okay. There we go. Fabricated evidence. How fun. Owie! Okay. There we go. They are really strange, irregular shapes to try to aim at. I figure, why not? Let's soak up the experience. I'm hearing goobly gobbly monster noises in here. Whoa! That's a big one. Howdy, y'all. Don't mind me. I'm being a naughty boy. This is fun. I can now frame Milton Pierce by taking a photo of the gun when bloody clothes. Shit. <laughs> good thing I checked that before I left. That is a good point. I do need to take a picture of it. I guess it's a good thing I took out the monsters then. Evidence against Pierce. I'll teach you to read The Prince by Machiavelli. I guess now I just go to the cops, right? Do I have a skill point again? Not yet. Eh. They're not a local fast travel point. I'm gonna run in this direction for a bit and see if I can, like, make one of them remember to spawn, or something. Or maybe this is just a weird, empty chunk of a town. Oh, here's one. There's one materializing ahead of me. What is this building? This is a building we haven't encountered yet, is it? In honor of the men and women of Oakmont who served the American colors in the Great World of War. Oh yeah. Militia headquarters. Is this gonna come up? Carry your mask. Be ready for chemical attacks. Look how fast the time of day is changing. This is totally a location that comes up at some point, isn't it? a local military HQ. Hey, wow, another West MD location. There's a lot of those. There we go. It's not that much more local than the other waypoint. Uh, it's on this side of the ocean, at least, I suppose. 
Uh, where are the cops? University. Hospital. Devil's Reef. Chronicle. Throgmorton Manor. University Library. City Hall. Department of Medicine. There is a police station. I've been there before. How have I lost it? It's not City Hall, is it? Isn't it something different? How do I change which markers are on the screen? How do I... I thought there was a way to cycle through which markers show up on the screen. I think I might be thinking of another uh, open world game I'm playing or something. Uh, am I? How am I missing it? Where is it? I thought it was labeled on the map and everything. There's a hospital. I want to say it was by the Chronicle, like it was up here or something. Oh, the police department. There we go. There we go. It's uh, it's being replaced by a different symbol. Is what's going on. I'm like, come on. I th I'm like, I think I know where it is, but where is it? What are you what's happening? What happened to the police department? It's like, now we're going ultra Lovecraft. You think you have evidence in this kit criminal trial? Well, now we've literally deleted the fucking police station from the map. So there is no justice here. <laughs> Existential dread. Don't waste my time, newcomer. I'm reporting a fucking crime. That's your job. That guy's gone again. That guy's just always there. It freaks me out. Investigate this. To whom it may concern, there's a conspiracy brewing in the city. It's the Fishmen. I know you couldn't confirm my previous reports, but this time it's different. They are taking over. Their rancid underwater gold has been surfacing around the city. Soon they will have enough to buy out everybody. Your institution must investigate this. I took the initiative and performed a preliminary investigation. Yes, I know I don't have a license, which is exactly why I needed somebody who does. I am sending you the first batch of my notes. More notes will follow as I carry on with my research. The conspiracy is real. The fishmen. The fishmen. Regards, Sims. Whoa. All that glitters is gold. Whoa. Jesus Christ. Christ, 500 pop-ups about evidence updated at the same time? Uh, I don't know if I can handle another eight-step open-world adventure. <laughs> I don't know. Oh no, each of them has its own lo Yep, gotta map every individual location. Oh, I don't know if I can handle this. The side quests are so not very interesting half the time. Uh, I don't know if I want to deal with this lunatic specifically. How do I continue this quest? I'm not. I'm not going after Agatha. Fuck off. I have to show it to show it to the carpenter task ma taskmaster to uh, evidence his guilt. Oh, shit. So we go to the Carpenter Manor. Why wouldn't I go to the police station? Okay. Or why isn't the police station also an option? Is it because they're corrupt and they'll just throw out the information or something? Hmm. Either way, found a side quest. So I guess it was worth the trip. Uh... Mysteriously hidden in one of these jump cuts, probably. I'll suddenly just have all those locations marked on the map, and then we'll see if I get to them. 
I don't know. I don't know if I can handle another Letters to Oakman added to this game. Maybe it's a really cool quest or something. Or maybe it's... Just a disaster. I have proof that it was Milton Pierce that killed Johannes Vanderberg. Show me what you've got. The murder weapon is in his house, and a pile of bloody clothes. Here's a photograph. I don't know how you managed to pull this off, Reed. But it's impressive work. We'll take it from here. Accusing a mayoral candidate of murder is an interesting challenge. But the Carpenter family has tackled worse. Bye. I would like to make him not the, car the uh, mayor if I can. There's definitely an otherworldly presence near Carpenter's house. I can feel it in the air. Well then. Oh, hi. <laughs> I guess I'm not leaving here safely, huh? I don't know how you pulled this off, Mr. Reed. Well, I got, let me let you in on a little secret called breaking and entering. <laughs> really simplifies the whole process. You've been doing a great job, Mr. Reed. I'm waiting for you at the Devil's Reef Hotel. Um... That's a new one. Being contacted directly by otherworldly forces in the middle of my investigative vision. That guy could just sprout it out of the ground. Y'all are freaking me out. If the glitches just looked a little different, they could almost complement me losing my mind vision. Like, because I'm in the crazy woo thing on a regular basis, uh, they could probably make a lot of these glitches blend in with that. But instead, they look really strange, because they usually are just people spreading on the ground, materializing in instantly in the air. If they're lucky enough to be above the ground, or not, gl or not glitching through a certain bar over here with a cool giant crab body. I'm watching you, newcomer. Dude, I don't even come here. I thought I'd be coming here. I thought I was gonna lose my mind and wake up here every morning, but I, that only happened once, and then I never came back. It did not cease. It did not turn out to be the daily hub that I thought it might turn out to be. Ooh, you're watching me so well that I'm stealing from your back room, and you're not even noticing. Right, this is the big hotel where I can loot every floor every day if I want to. If I ever do need more resources, it's probably the go-to location. I'm waiting for the Devil's Reef Hotel. Alright, time to check every room. Oh, there's my place. Gotcha. How? How is this possible? At last, Mr. Reed. I heard about your recent case. Let me congratulate you. You've truly outdone yourself this time. A question, if I may. I've got a question. How on earth are you still alive? What can I say? Perhaps next time you should make sure you finished the job. <laughs> it wasn't me and you know it. All this. All I went through and there was no murder to begin with. The prosecution would beg to differ. They had all they needed. A victim, a method, and a culprit. The rest is just bells and whistles. You set me up, you son of a- I only set the scene. I'll- What? Kill me? As amusing as it would be to see you charged with my murder a second time, I'm afraid we have more pressing matters. What do you mean? You know exactly what I mean, Mr. Reed. The prophecy. The seal. You've made yourself a part of something momentous. Now, to your latest case. Wonderful execution all round. And I mean that literally. The hanging has been scheduled for next week. Tell me, Mr. Reed, why did you do it? Why condemn a man of such high station for a crime he did not commit? He testified against me and conspired to have his mother killed. Indeed. 
His corruption was common knowledge, yet you were the only one who acted upon it. Regardless, I shall call this experiment a success. In fact, you should consider it a taste of your ultimate try. I don't understand. What do you get from all this? You are headed into the darkness, Mr. Reed. I'm giving you the experience you'll need to find your way through it. What do you mean, my ultimate trial? What does this have to do with anything? <laughs> of course. Everything. It's your destiny. Destiny beyond comprehension. To be more than a speck of cosmic dust. To make waves across the universe. To end things. And what? Everything. You've suffered in this city from the very beginning. From the moment you were born, in fact. Wanting to end it is only natural. But unlike those untold millions before you, you have the power to do so. You can turn mere prophecy into absolute truth. You don't mean... The seal of Kotiganar is in your hands. You possess the key to the gates, and all they hold within. You can close them, and cling to mankind's misery for a few more cruel centuries. Or you can open them, and end it. And you will do the latter. Why? Why would I destroy everything? Because otherwise your life amounts to nothing. Do you know how many chosen few there have been over the centuries? Nameless hordes. Sacrificed at the whim of invisible masters. Not unlike those who watered the puppies of Flanders with their blood. But our sacrifices mattered. We won the war. A war with many yet to come. This is your kin's nature, your purpose to suffer. Your monkeys in an open cage, unwilling to walk out. Only you can make a difference. You can end it all for good. Johannes, you're vile. There is nothing more vile than futility. Watching this happen again and again and doing nothing. We are the agents of change, Mr. Reed. You're wrong. I'll prove it. You will prove nothing. You'll die. And at the next turn of the cycle, another will come along who is brave enough to finish the job. Nevertheless, I cannot abandon you, whether you agree with me or not. Your path is too important, even if your choice is beyond my control. You're right about one thing, at least. There is an archaeologist in this city. He is very close to unraveling the secret of Katigana. And you'll need his help to get inside. His name is Joseph Hill. Here's his address. Talk to him. Earn his favor. This is wrong, Johannes. All of it. And I still have no idea why I should even believe you. The truth is the truth. Whether you believe it or not, you can accept it, or try to put the blindfold back on. It doesn't matter. Farewell, Charles. Whether we speak again or not, I will be watching. And don't lose the seal again, or all your effort in this city would go to waste. We'll meet again, Mr. Reed. And the entire mission was pointless. Ba -dip -ba -dip. Never again, they say. Okay. <laughs> None of it mattered. Brutus Carpenter retires. Brutus Carpenter, head of the Carpenter Grand family, has announced his resignation, citing his old age and poor health. No, he's dead. I shot him in the face. His son Graham has now taken the family business into his own hands, actively engaging with charity. He was seen too as to hang out food and medication to anyone in need. If we won't lend a, ha a helping hand to the common folk, who will? Said the new patriarch. Graham Carpenter will also commemorate his appointment with a large donation to the venerated Redemption Church canning factory murder. The Blackwood Marsh canning factory was last night the site of some sad and unusual events. Neighbors reported shooting, screaming, and the sounds of a struggle coming from inside the factory. 
On arrival to the scene, police discovered the dead body of Ebernote Blackwood, the final representative of the Blackwood Grand family, had been severely wounded and was clearly the subject of a most violent attack, though no trace of the criminal had been found. The r case remains under investigation by Oakman police. No, it does say dead body. Okay, I was like, severely wounded sounds a lot like he's still alive. So for a second there, I'm like, wait, is he going to come back? But it does say dead body. 